So I, I'm going to ask you a question because what you just said about the supplements, you know, we never talked about that. Were, were you taking specific supplements that uh, helped uh, helped heal you even further than you know the foods you were eating? So in Medical Medium's first book, chapter three for Epstein Barr, uh, or is it the fibro chapter? Anyway, I think it's chapter three. I took all of those. Every single one. Yep, every single one. Okay, so no, nothing, nothing changed throughout your entire journey, or when his new books came out, you didn't start. Yeah, so um, in the beginning, it was really low doses, like one drop of lemon balm three times a day. Um, not drop, one dropper full three times a day. Uh, lysine was in there, um, ester C was in there for sure back in the day when I first started. Uh, my top five, I would say, was zinc, B12, ester C, which is now micro C, um, cat's claw, lysine, and then lemon balm would be six. Those were every single day, no matter what. Ashwagandha was also a big part for my adrenal support and then licorice root. I took those without fail. And there were some other ones that I added here and there, like the red marine algae, some oddball ones that helps with EBV. Um, but when you look at that old school chapter there, that's what I did. I eventually was on all of them to really like cleanse the virus out of my body because we know EBV is the root cause of fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis. And that was so freeing to know that information. And so. This was also back before there was a supplement registry or guidance there on Anthony's website. So I had to try my best to find clean herbs and supplements. And mm -hmm. I quickly learned that you can't go to places like GNC um, <laughs> yeah. and just get a clean herb and supplement, right? So that was a big learning curve for me. Um, and then I tailored my protocol, of course, for my pregnancy. I stopped. I had to stop all the things. Um, at the time, I was also taking a melatonin and valerian root when I found out I was pregnant because the whole time I was sick, I could not sleep without taking something to help me sleep. And so that was actually the one medicine. It was a muscle relaxer that the doctor prescribed for me to take at night to help me sleep. And I never, I knew I was going to get off of all the meds, but that one I doubted. I just totally doubted it. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to actually fall asleep. But I remember when I got pregnant, I was like, gosh, I have to stop all these. And so I was off the medication to help me sleep, but I was doing melatonin and valerian root, which I stopped and I slept just fine that night. And I was like, this is amazing. Awesome. <laughs> so I think that was a, that was a victory for me. Right. And so all along the ways we can really add up all those victories. And so during my pregnancy, it was super simple. Uh, zinc b12 a little bit of ester c a little bit of lemon balm if i felt like it um and that was that was it i kept it really simple i did the heavy metal detox smoothie every single day and had a bunch of raw foods lots of fruit lots of potatoes um and then when i started having the bloating still having the bloating after baby um i started doing more liver supplements so i did like a bloating protocol i focused on that I've done an acne protocol because I was getting breakouts here and there. Um, and so, yeah, that's the beauty of this is that you can tailor it to the symptoms that you're, that you're having. Or if you need more adrenal support, right? Ashwagandha, licorice root, lemon balm, nettle, all of that would be really helpful. Um, yeah, yeah, so. That's been my journey, my journey with supplement. Cool. Um, that's awesome. Yeah, the supplement thing, that's kind of where we started too, was in the Epstein Barr chapter of his first book, because that's really all we had right. when we first started on this. And we were taking a lot of the same stuff that you just mentioned on your on your list, all the important stuff. So. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the next one where Amber walks us through how she went from being a nurse in conventional medicine to starting her own practice incorporating medical medium tools.